What's going on guys, welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week five. So if you're new here, this is a series where every single week we take a look at two proven, tried and tested six figure Facebook ads. So these are Facebook ads which basically have millions of views, thousands of comments, thousands of shares, but most importantly, they're all still active, current and running today. So if you're watching this video and you're still looking for that product to invest yourself into, build a business around and try and make the most of Q4, then the products you're about to see in this video are definitely great options. Not only will you get to see the product and the Facebook had creative itself you'll get to see the shopify store selling these products and i'll also show you where you can source these products too so essentially you have all the inner makings and behind the scenes of a fully functioning and successful drop shipping business and with that being said thanks for tuning in guys let's jump straight into it so facebook ad number one is this fort building kit for children one of my all-time favorite products for q4 this year in my opinion it just fits perfectly into that kind of gift niche it fits perfectly for the audience on facebook which from my experience over the last sort of six years or so, it tends to be females over the age of 50, which are the best buyers, which fits the category of somebody buying it for their grandchildren. We can see a super cool, super effective ad. Um, thinking back now, when I was a kid, and I used to make forts and dens and stuff like this, I would have loved to have had a kit and a product like this. They do a really good job of sucking people in and grabbing attention at the top in their primary text. Kids are going crazy over this. Straight away, it's gonna heighten somebody's senses. It's gonna heighten a grandparent or parent's senses. Get your child away from screens in a fun and engaging way. I keep seeing this crop up more and more. More and more people are trying to look for ways to get their kids off screens. They don't want them stuck on their mobile phone device or on an iPad all day long. They wanna get them out doing fun and creative things like this, especially on Christmas Day when everybody wants to do things together what better activity for a family to build a fortress like this together and have fun and play games if we take a look at the engagements on this Facebook ad then we can see 2.4 thousand reactions 2,000 comments and 1.3 million views so it's probably safe to say at this point it's working because for a post to get that level of engagement and that viewership then it has to be paid, it has to be boosted in such a way. However, the proof, as you've probably heard me say every single week, is in the comments. There's no better proof, evidence, non-deniable evidence that people are buying a product than if people are telling you they're buying a product. So in this case, let's take a look at the comment section. So April here says, buy two, make a bigger fort. We did and so glad. So there's one person that's bought this. Ross says, has this for the grandies. So as I mentioned earlier, grandparents buying it for their grandchildren. There's two people. Um, this person saying that his son would like it. Ebony's just said she's bought this for the kids for Christmas as a gift, which, like I mentioned earlier, CJ says they're totally getting this Christmas present. Priscilla says a grandchild received this last Christmas. She plays with it all the time. Mark says bought these for the kids. So it just goes to show people think this is a good product and they're buying it. We saw some of those comments were pretty recent as well in the last few weeks, which is also a great sign. But let's filter by newest and see how recent they are. So one day, 23 hours, one day, one day, two days, one day, one day, two days one day we can see a significant amount of comments all within the last 24 hours this indicates this is still getting engagement is still getting viewership and therefore it's active and must be working today let's take a look at the shopify store then selling this product successfully they're called baby snuggle they have a very simple and basic shopify store you could easily replicate and actually improve upon this in my opinion with a custom theme like they beautify something like that they're selling two different variants 66 pieces and the 155 the product description is okay it's very simple very basic just your typical kind of layout with different gifts and images of the product again you can definitely improve upon this with the use of apps like gem pages moving down again just the kind of typical information they have information about their shipping which is really good i can't stress this enough they are clearly upfront and honest about it saying ships within one to two days and delivery time frame is anywhere from four to ten dis business days so be upfront honest and just goes to show people don't mind as long as they know when to expect it think about any other legitimate e-commerce business they always give you an indication of when you can expect to receive the product if people can't find that information on your store they're going to be thinking am i even going to receive this product this is probably a scam they're probably going to leave your store and try and find it elsewhere and of course they finish the page off with customer reviews 115 different reviews somebody's actually posted a video another person lots of different images and videos which just help sell the product with social proof numbers wise then they're selling it for $40 for the smaller stack 
add sixty dollars for the bigger one if we're going to aliexpress just put four builder in you're going to find loads of different suppliers selling this product ranging from anywhere from sort of 18 pounds 12 pounds for that one that has 15 day delivery as well 13 pounds 16 pounds that looks like a glow in the dark one there's another glow in the dark one 15 day delivery for 14 pounds 15 14 so you're looking anywhere between sort of 12 and 15 pounds that price difference is probably due to the fact that it comes in different sizes but even still even at the smaller size and lower end you're still making a pretty decent profit margin of over 20 pounds per sale moving on to ad number two then we have this dog hoodie dog apparel pet apparel by a company called spark paws they actually created this ad on december 14th and it's still active and running today and i'll show you that but before we do let's just touch a little bit on what the actual product is it's basically a hoodie for your dog um, people go crazy for their dogs throughout the year the entire year people love spending money on dogs however during q4 it spikes even more so so if we take a look at the google trend information dog gift uk 2004 to present we can see year on year october november december people just go crazy for dog presents and we can see we're just about to lift off so to speak we're just about to hit that top end of demand for dog gifts which makes this a great product to get involved in and start selling this q4 what's also really good about this particular product is it'll be super cheap and quick and effective or super quick and cheap to get started with and effective because you don't need a video ad creative. We can see here, simple image ad, which you could easily put together from images off AliExpress or different suppliers um, is all you need. As always though, the proof is in the comments. Even though this has 14,000 reactions, 7,000 comments, and nearly 4,000 shares, it's pretty safe to say this is a good product and people are buying it, otherwise it wouldn't have this level of engagement. But just to kind of double down and prove to ourselves that people are actually buying this and not just engaging with it, let's take a look at the comment section. So Diane has posted a picture of her dog wearing it. Kimberly has posted a picture of her dog. Amanda's bought three different ones by the looks of it for each of her dogs. Stephen Pearson is commenting on the image they've used for some reason. Hales has posted a picture of her dog. Angie has posted a picture of her dog. This person has, 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 this person has. Everybody is buying this product by the looks of it. However, some of these are from quite a few weeks ago. So let's just scroll back up and take a look at the newest and see when they're this from, where these are from. One hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, two hours, three hours, three hours, four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours. This ad is getting a serious amount of engagement each and every day. There's no way that these guys aren't piling a ton of money into this and therefore it must be working. With that being said, let's take a look at the store selling this product. So what's actually interesting is their shop now button takes them to this page here, their homepage. Um, which is interesting. Usually I'd always recommend sending to the actual product page itself, but in instances like this where you have a whole collection and different range of products, so if you're selling clothes, for example, then we can see it's just as effective to say, show everybody the whole range of products rather than just one particular one. You can do it somewhat with a carousel ad, However, it's much better to let people spend more time on your website browsing and taking a look at the different variations and products that you sell. Let's take a look at their bestsellers then with our Koala Inspector products bestsellers. We can see the actual Cuban link is their best selling products, which is interesting. I didn't see that coming. I thought it would be the hoodies, but it just goes to show. My opinion and your opinion is irrelevant. We have to follow the data and we have to follow what people are saying. We can see from the comment section, people are buying the hoodies. So that's gonna be the product which we're gonna consider for Q4. As for sourcing the products on AliExpress then, I've simply done a very straightforward search of dog hoodie. We can see there's many different kind of variations. We've got these silly ones with the googly eyes on. We've got these knockoff Addy Dag one, Addy Dog ones. We've got this pretty cool looking one here. We've got kind of like generic fleece ones. These kind of styles here. These ones are all different patterns. These ones here, which I think we saw on that website, that top left um, crocodile one with fins on. I think this one up here as well was also on their website. The tie dye ones. We can see they range anywhere from sort of four, five, six pounds. So a relatively cheap product, which you can make a pretty decent profit margin on. We have the dog face here, which is obviously a knockoff of the North Face. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure if you'd get away with that on Facebook, but there wouldn't be any harm in trying. If it was me and I wanted to pursue this product, I would probably try and find like a Santa's outfit. Um, so this looks like reindeers. Let me just have a quick look for a Santa dog hoodie or dog Santa hoodie. So I just did a quick search for dog Santa hoodie and lo and behold, there's Santa outfits that you can get for your dogs. This pretty cool outfit here actually, 2022 pet dog clothes winter. 
definitely can see people buying that. There's so many different variations. You could build an entire store out just on dog hoodies. That would be my go-to though, the Christmas one, obviously with it coming up in Q4. It's, it's just a fact, I'd guarantee it in fact, that people would buy that to dress their little dogs up um, to, like Santa. What you could also do as well to make it even more effective is you can target specific dog breeds on Facebook. So you could target things like, um, oh, that's a cat, but you could target things like pugs and those smaller dog breeds. So you're gonna be targeting those people who own those dogs and therefore the dogs that the product actually applies for. And so with that being said then guys, that wraps up both Facebook ads for this week. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Two interesting yet effective products. If you decide to go ahead and pursue any of these products, make sure you come back and let me know what sort of results you get. If you want any help getting started and get set up with them, just leave a comment down below. I'll read every single comment and answer all questions. If you're looking for a free training to help you launch your business as fast as possible, check out the first link in the video description down below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.